You found my citizen science machine. I created it to prove myself the smartest organism in the six galaxies, in hopes that that title would diminish the existential terror and self-hatred that plagues my every waking moment. It did not. Feel free to plug it back in and take a shot at the champ, as it were. Hey folks, this is Mayim Bialik, actor, PhD scientist, researcher, and your favorite person. Today, I'm here to talk to you about video games and science, and how we can grab both by their necks and make them kiss, consensually. Long story short, by playing Borderlands 3, you can contribute to real-world scientific research, as in data that helps real people in meat space. Speaking of meat, did you know that more than half the cells in our bodies are alien? Only 43% of our cells are of human origin. The rest belong to foreign microbes. These microbes have a massive impact on our body's health. The more we study microbes, the more we can learn about the accumulation of meat and existential terror that is the human body. These microbes are made up of DNA, just like us. Each microbe has its own special DNA signature, and similar species of microbes have similar DNA. If we could sequence all the different species of microbes found in the human body, which, remember, make up more than half of the cells in our body, we'd learn a ton about ourselves. To that end, the Microseta Initiative collected tens of thousands of samples of, to use the scientific term, doo-doo, extracted the DNA of the microbes inside, and sequenced it. Now we just need to organize this data. Unfortunately, though computers excel at certain tasks, like crunching numbers or tracking down specific pornography, they're not so good at organizing DNA information. See, different species of microbes have similar, but not quite identical DNA. That means mapping their sequences can be kind of ambiguous. The computer makes lots of small mistakes that can corrupt downstream analysis. Which brings us back to video games. So we've got several million sequences that are each 150 nucleotides long that are riddled with small errors from the computer analysis. How can we get rid of all these errors? With your help. We've taken the millions of DNA sequences and broken them down into bite-sized puzzles that you can play and solve inside Borderlands 3. And try not to think about the fact that the DNA came from human excrement when I use phrases like bite-sized. By playing Borderlands Science inside Borderlands 3, you'll be directly helping our scientists organize and compare this dung data. The game is simple. You'll be confronted with different strands of DNA, each made up of individual tiles. It's your job to place as many of these tiles as possible in their appropriate row while matching the colors. It's not always possible to line everything up perfectly, but that's okay. By playing the game and matching the sequences, you'll also be identifying the errors in our computer analysis and helping scientists across the planet build a better algorithm for the future. And since all this research is open access, the entire scientific community will benefit from it. This research could directly lead to a universal catalog of all known microbes, which could lead to new breakthroughs in food, medicine, exercise, the sky's the limit. And it all starts with you playing a video game. But if the pursuit of knowledge isn't enough of an encouragement to sort through virtual butt microbes, then fear not. Playing Borderlands Science earns you in-game currency you can spend on booster items for your characters. Oh, and this is all totally free. Just activate the Borderlands Science machine on Sanctuary 3 and sort some gut microbes. Are you ready to match colored dots to other colored dots? Let me show you how this works. So these colored tiles represent the building blocks of DNA, or to simplify, the tiny meat cubes that big meat people are made out of. So if it helps, just imagine those blocks as small multicolored hunks of steak. It does not. Your goal is to align them with the guidelines on the left. You can push the tiles upward by inserting tokens. Now shove those beautiful meat babies! Great job! That's what we call a meat train! Accurate. We call it 
a meat parade. Once you're happy with your alignment, submit your solution and score some points. Once you earn enough points... In an effort to quantitatively prove my intellectual superiority, I installed a scoring system into this machine. Et voila! If you want to prove you're brainier than Dr. Tannis, make sure you fill that score bar up as much as you possibly can before submitting your score. You've still got quite a ways to go to beat my top score, however. So, up to now, you've been able to fart around with as many tokens as you want. But now, <laughs> the real challenge begins. See these tokens? These are your reserve tokens. You need to think really hard about where to put them.
submit your solution. You could keep working to film more of the bar and increase your score, though. Not that I'd recommend it. Like I always say, the bare minimum is the best you can hope for, and you will never know joy. By beating my score, you've invalidated the only achievement of my otherwise accolade-free life. Please feel free to celebrate while I jettison myself into the nearest sun. Oh, you're challenging my tough score? Here's a pro tip. Smash the buttons with your fist until Tannis gets so angry, she completes them for you. <laughs> Get
Can you imagine if you beat Tannis' score? She might melt. that puzzle in the face! Not saying much, but still. you a steak. Biceps are tingling. <laughs> 